Hello! Happy February! <laughs> we um, are looking at energy of the week for the 1st of February through the 7th. This is the beginning week of Mercury retrograde. What does that mean? It means that Mercury is basically... Mercury is the ruler of communication. And so when it goes retrograde, it means that it is, you know, slowing down and going backwards. So usually what that means is there is some miscommunication that can happen. There is also some <clears throat> technical difficulties with electronics and things of like that sort. So usually when Mercury goes into retrograde, I... I always ask that you would just slow down a little bit and make sure that you are, you know, backing up things that need to be backed up. If you have a huge project that you're doing um, electronically, <clears throat> double checking that an email was sent out, double checking, you know, just kind of slow down and make sure things are connecting and getting across. And that goes with communication with those around you. With um, Mercury retrograding in Aquarius, Aquarius is very much um, ruled by, what is that planet? The one rebellion, Re Uranus. So um, with, <laughs> with Mercury retrograding in Aquarius, which is ruled by Uranus, which is basically sudden changes and revolutions and rebellion, kind of look at that as a theme for this Mercury retrograde. Um, the signs that will be affected by this the most are going to be the fixed signs. So, that's going to be um, Scorpio, Taurus, there's another one. Uh, fixed Earth is Taurus. Fixed Fire is Leo. Fixed Water is Scorpio. Um, and then with Geminis and Virgos having that planet as their basically... ruler messenger planet they're probably also going to be affected so it's going to affect mostly taurus leo scorpio and virgos and gemini also um virgos and gemini are probably the ones that are always going to be <laughs> affected by it so if you're in those signs just be more aware and slow down let's get into our energy of the week And as always, please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Um, as far as, you know, the planets and Mercury going into retrograde and blah, blah, blah. Um, a lot of people, like, we go into an, oh no, Mercury's in retrograde, so everything's going to mess up. Just carry on with life as you normally would. Um, you know double check things that you are committing to signing, um, double check, like I said, anything that has to do with communication, just slow down. I noticed that, um, Saturday, <laughs> I was like irritable when it came to communication. So there's a lot going on in that aspect. So be gentle with yourselves and slow down. Okay, let's get to our energy of the week. Why do we... This is just a general pool for everyone that would tune into this. Like I said, take what resonates and leave the rest. Of course, our throat chakra is going to come up because a lot of us are going to be pushing through those communication um, barriers. You may feel as though your world is kind of 
gets flipped upside down around the beginning of the week, you may experience a deep loss, which makes your world feel upside down at the beginning of the week. This is going to cause you to kind of emotionally withdraw, but the lesson out of this is to get past sacrificing you. So to get past that whole martyr or being a sacrifice or sacrificing your time, your energy, your money. So there's a lesson around that, which is going to help you to get past that shadow behavior if you have that. All right, so there's a mosquito in here trying to bite me. Go away, mosquito. Um, the sadness that's going to come at the beginning of the week, for those of you who that resonates with, um, this is going to be the first three days of the week. So it's going to be either Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. Um, and it's going to temporarily make you feel like your world's falling apart, and that's okay. Allow yourself to... Feel. Allow yourself to move through the emotions. Um, it's going to take a little bit of time for you to heal, but surround yourself with those who are going to support you. I feel like you're going to be walking away from some things that are no longer serving, serving you and you're finally going to exercise your truth around it. Um, so this is going to be the beginning part of the week. The end of the week, you know, you're going to kind of withdraw a little bit and you're going to come back out at the end of the week um, knowing that it's a lie, that you're not powerless, knowing that, you know, you're confident in what you do, knowing that you don't have to sacrifice your time, your energy, and your finances, you know, in the way that you have been in the past. When we get into these spaces where we feel as though, you know, our world is being flipped upside down and we are having a hard time, we always want to try to be grateful for whatever is occurring. You want to be grateful for, you know, the lesson that you're getting. You want to be grateful for what you do have around you when there is a loss of some sort. We always want to look um, at gratitude and being grateful in the moment and staying in the moment and staying present in the moment this is a week of grounding make sure that you're grounded and um allowing yourself to process whatever is going to occur for us at the beginning of the week i tried to um do this so that we're aware of things that may be occurring for us and not everything is going to be sunshine and rainbows. Not everything is going to be, you know, um, joy and, you know, bliss. But we go through each and everything in order to grow. So this is going to be a growth week for us. And this is also going to be a reflection week to see how far we have come. Um... And that's what I've got for you for this week. So just be gentle with yourself. Slow down. If you're one of the signs that's affected by the most by this retrograde, um, you know, just allow yourself that processing time. If you're one of the um, one of the people affected by the loss at the beginning of the week. Um, Allow yourself the time to process and to give yourself what you need. And don't be afraid to reach out to others to ask for help. I feel like this is going to be an exercise in you reaching out and learning how to, you know, ask for what you need instead of always giving what everyone else needs and putting everyone before yourself. 
All right, so that's what I've got for the energy of the week. If you resonated with this message, please leave me um, a comment or something like that. I really enjoy doing these. Sometimes the messages are a little heavier than others, and that's one of, you know, this is one of those weeks. But as we move through this energy, um, Mercury retrograded the 30th, and it'll be until the 20th. We can look at this as a time to grow, as a time to slow down, as a time to um, just go within. With um, it being in Aquarius, we're going to want to be working with other people though. So just be aware of that. All right. I love you guys. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. Have a beautiful and a blessed existence, friends.